work in Kagoshima, which is the southernmost city in Kyushu. Uh, Kagoshima is famous for its uh, Sakurajima, which is a really, really close volcano. And there's so much emphasis on natural beauty in Kagoshima that it was really surprising when I first came here. But life in Japan is really easy to get around and the ash from the volcano doesn't really affect me so much. It's easy to get to the grocery shopping centre, it's easy to get to the post office, bank, everything else. Um, my apartment is really small but it's, I don't need much room just for me so it's really easy to live and adapt to life in Japan here. I generally spend the weekend doing really mundane things like chores, washing, cleaning, vacuuming in my apartment, but I also spend time shopping, uh, hanging out with my fellow co-workers, and sometimes uh, studying for a Japanese test at the end of the year. I enjoy studying Japanese and I hope I can continue that in the future, so at the moment I'm really trying to work on that. On my most recent vacation, I went home to visit friends and family once more. Uh, it was really great to get home for the week and then come back and work again. It was a great change. I've also had the opportunity to have uh, my mom and sister come visit me in Kogoshima, which was really fun. It was a bit of a squeeze to fit them on my floor, but after that, it's really easy to get from Kagoshima up into Japan by the bullet train, so they went traveling. And I also had the opportunity to visit them in Osaka, where we did lots of sightseeing and visiting restaurants and having fun in Japan. So it was a really great change from the usual work week. On my arrival in Japan, I was actually on the exact same flight as one of my fellow recruits. And it was great to meet someone so early in the process. Uh, we waited at the airport for our trainer together and then after we met him we dropped our bags and spent a little time in Fukuoka before our actual training began. Training itself was really difficult but it prepared me a lot uh, to be a great teacher and a colleague and an employee of E.ON. As a teacher at E.ON I am asked to attend follow-up trainings uh, once a while and I've attended some already and they're really helpful to talk about any issues with other, other teachers and get their ideas and support on anything new for school campaigns or kids lessons or to anything, any new ideas to liven up adults lessons as well. So it's really good to share ideas and uh, problems and uh, get support and advice from other teachers who are doing the exact same thing as you are. One thing I really like about teaching here at E.ON is the variety in my day. I might teach the same lesson maybe twice or three times a week, but the students are always different. They have different ideas, opinions, and levels of English, so it always changes the, uh, the lesson itself. Uh, and of course, uh, one problem is uh, remembering everyone's names. I teach a lot of students, and it's often difficult to remember everyone's names. But talking with them in the lobby and discussing everything in class and using their names in class has definitely helped me remember everyone's name. I receive uh, pro professional and personal support from uh, my teachers, my fellow teachers. I have a really good relationship with the other teachers at my school, so any problems I have, I, I of course, uh, talk to them. Uh, and also my trainer, he, tr he teaches here at Kagoshima every week, so I'm able to discuss any teaching or education or uh, professional problems with him as well. <laughs>